saw this character in ages. Yeah, I I have not either. And oh god, I'm the thing the thing about Wii Fit Trainer as a whole is it's one of those characters that I just tell people it's really strong offline, super ridiculously strong online. But if you're able to oppress the character more so often than the character oppresses you with the projectiles, but also close range combat, then you'll be fine. Thing about here though is like Wadi Wadi's Wii Fit Trainer once came to SoCal and ran over everybody. I wish you were there, Q3, because you might have saved us. But man, he, he literally took home cash, money, prize, and Nico all at once, and we looked embarrassed. Not sure if I could have saved it saved it from happening, but I've definitely seen a lot of a lot of it on, on the screens. He was definitely tearing through everybody. You can't, this is a character that can't be slept on. And I do agree. You you do want to uh, try and keep it up close and personal with Weep It to prevent them from, you know, getting their stat buffs with deep breathing and charging their um, their sun salutation, because they, they both heal him. As well, the, as well as the other benefits that they have, like kill power. Yeah, the kill power that both Weefa Trainer just is able to turn on and off, well, actually just able to have on in general, is ridiculously strong. So you always have to respect things like sun salutation and deep breathing. But like I said, as long as you understand the character as a whole and able to smother Weefa Trainer before they have that opportunity, you'll be fine. But Man, I'm telling you, Wally's on something here, but because he's able to get these throws and he's able to get 52 on Mr. E and then just continue this lead. And that's the thing, too. For Mr. E, he wants to bring that, like, I was imaginary bubble you would picture around a spacing with Lucina to Wally, but the problem is, like, once you whiff something, you know Wally would be able to punish that. Right, we've seen it from the ladder extensions and the, the nares onto the platforms. This character is no slouch when it comes to just racking up damage and killing. Never, never underestimate this character. But Mr. E's able to bring it a little bit closer, taking out that stock, and so we've got ourselves almost an even game. Sending him off stage, but Wadi responds with the header, and now the situation's reversed here. And gets the snipe on the neutral getup, not gonna kill. But he's got him in a good offstage situation here. Nice air dodge read to close that out, and Wadi's back in the lead. Yeah, air dodge, going for neutral air dodge is pretty good. You get less end frames off of that and as opposed to directional air dodge. We've seen Mr. E be really smart about directional air dodge when he used it early to buy himself close to the stage and then go for that extra little recover here. But that's sliding forward till it's so clean, able to try to swipe Wadi here to the right side of the stage. And you know Wadi's being patient as he goes for that low profile to actually avoid any of those aerials from Lucina. Yeah, very, very creative usage to, to whip punish a lot of Lucina's normals. Um, can definitely go over a few of those moves with... Uh-oh, that might have been a slip-up, but he saves himself with a nice, uh, quick up B. Wadi able to tech it, and he doesn't have rage. He's got some rage on him, so it's it's still going to be... He's going to have to be pretty careful here and make sure to close out the stock as soon as possible. Yeah, 122 to 6 to hit, 6 on Mr. E. Tries to get a little bit of spacing active, but Wadi sees on the aggressive side. Man, that man a forward air looked pretty scary, because if he connected that full forward air, I felt like that would have been the stock. Back air for Mr. E. Edge guard situation yet again, but you know Wadi is going to go for that ball, and you know Mr. E does not want him to have that opportunity. Right, Wadi's been very creative in these recoveries. E, he's occasionally going very deep, but it's not quite working out for him. Yeah, and that's the thing, too, is like, that's... Normally, that's what Mr. E would be feeling comfortable with, but Wadi takes away that comfort and gives Mr. E a little bit less of that to deal with. Mr. E, once again, that low, 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 low forward air. Nothing to swipe at yet. Tries to go for a read here, but salute the sun, man, like my Sunny D. It's going to get him off the stage. That's the forward throw. Mr. E will great here. I still survive it, but he has to go for a low recovery. Force the air dodge, but he's not able to get it. Yeah, I think that's a bit reminiscent of um, how he plays Rob as well, because it's another character that, that's very comfortable uh, offstage with a very solid recovery. He has no problem uh, going deep, and you can kind of see him um, using that to his advantage with Wii Fit Trainer as well. Yeah, that's... God. And since Wadi is so adept at that, like that's the one thing Mystery has to be really careful with. Up air, no confirm there. You can see the Nair coming on initially. Mystery at 157. He's trying to be extra cautious with that. All right, he's looking for maybe maybe a, a nair one confirm or, or a back tear back air or an F tilt to close this out. Anything. Um, and and E probably has those win conditions in mind here. And I think I'm glad that you said that it would nair one confirm, because that would be so big for him with Rage Lucina, especially with how wide he's been at the ledge. Oh. There is the shield break oh, here. That's probably gonna be it. Yeah, that's it. Ooh. Highway robbery, man, but you know what? He earned that. He earned that. He knew how. Right. He didn't need for that the whole game. He was saving that in his pocket until when it counted, and that was it. Yeah, and that was definitely it indeed, man. Mr. E moving up 1 0 over Wadi so far. 
Yeah, man, he had he had them pockets deep, deep stashed in his hands. He said, you know what? The one thing you never expected will come out. Please respect my name, good sir. But also, these guys are pretty cool with each other, so I can't say there's any beef like that for sure. <laughs> of course not. Two very respectable players. Um, We'll see what kind of stage and or character counterpick comes out from Wadi. I, I believe that is... Uh, we fit did hold its own strength. Maybe, maybe he's, that's a character that he hadn't pulled out in a while in this bracket. And may just need to warm it up a bit, so he may end up sticking it out, or might go to a stage that benefits Rob a bit more. Oh, he's running it right back. But again, I, I think he had the confidence there. I mean, he ended up losing because of Shieldbreaker. He maintained the lead essentially the whole game. So I, 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 I can't see him having any doubts when it comes to um, sticking it out with Wii Fit. Yeah. yeah he, like you said, his Wii Fit has a lot of reminiscence of how he plays Rob. The ability to force his opponents to go for recoveries, burn up the air dodge, and that's really big because you can take away a lot from your opponent. Mystery on that really strong empty hop, trying to fake out basically what was going to be the upright. He tries to go for a grab there. That's good that we're starting to see how both of these players are looking to counteract each other as well. Not only in terms of play styles, but also like just their movement, their aerials all together. Ooh, goes for a bit of an aggressive edge guard, but he's able to beat it out with an upbeat. We got a ledge situation. Let's see if he goes off stage. He's going to opt to go for the ledge trap, and we'll see. Ooh, tries to two frame him with that down air. It doesn't quite work out, but he's doing a solid job of holding an advantage of stock. Ledge yeah. trump to back. Now, this is a different narrative from game one. E taking the first stock. Yeah, this time he's got more control here up against Wadi, and he knows he's got to keep up that control and pressure. But pretty optimistically cautious, but ha, uh, yeah. <laughs> again, like you said, reminiscent of Rob, because Rob has gyro and laser to force air dodge, and in case of Wii Fit, he's got sun salutation and the header. Yeah, and if you're too low from header, it'll actually spike you. Like, don't forget it actually has a spike right. box. So you have to really respect header for too low or too close. Nice. Goes for the full dancing weight here. He's earned himself some stage control. Looking to set up for that down tilt range as we see it come into play. No sliding F tilt, but I do like that down tilt to reestablish another opportunity here at dancing blade at the ledge. Ah, uh, sorry. The, the dancing blade did not quite beat out the spot dodge, but he he is playing this matchup very well. Again, pressuring Wii Fit, not giving Wadi much time to breathe here. And Though, uh, yeah, yeah, and it's working out a lot better uh, for him this game, too, as he's holding on to the lead pretty well here. Yeah, this is going to be a good forward throw here coming out for Mystery. Now, look, I do like that one thing about Mystery, too. He doesn't always go for the offstage, which people may criticize him for it. But the reason why is because he knows I'm better off, at, especially against Wii Fit Trainer, trying right. to get those really strong like, opportunities for the two frame or just that really strong stage control altogether. And again, with with the comfort the comfort that Wadi has going off stage, the the possibility of getting reversed is always there. So he does take a risk each time he goes off stage. Mm -hmm. All right, double jab here to beat out basically. Uh, that's the thing about jabs too. Most of them beat out spot dodge, so that's a really good frame to just go for that. I'm trying to read something here. A little bit of a creative way to get back on stage, but doesn't quite work out. E looking for one more stray hit to finish off the stock. Waits for a get up option. Ooh, he reacted to the air dodge, but couldn't quite punish it. Right, mystery in the forward air. I like it. No panic. No air dodge. Just tries to get back on the stage. See that? Seeing Wadi tries to go for sun salutation. Holds ledge. Good patience there. Using that invincibility from the roll at the same time. What a play. All right, nicely done. He learned it from his mistake from last time. That is very capable of catching neutral getup. And, uh, immaculately times his roll. And now uh, he's got Wadi in the corner. See if he goes off stage. He's not going to risk it as he just needs one hit. Ooh, a little bit of a flip there. I don't think he meant to go for that turnaround grab on the roll. Uh, no, he just didn't realize that crossed up. I was thinking huh. he'd look for an up tilt perhaps, but that F tilt, very solid kill move for Weefa is going to finish it off. Yeah, oh, Mystery on this impeccable spacing here. Just trying to get anything without taking too much unnecessary damage. The good for the up B, seeing that he saw Sun Salutation on the smallest hit and maybe Wally trying to confirm off that. All he needs is even an up throw at this point will do it. Or up B. Tried to go fair out of shield, but again, maybe just didn't react to the cross up. And there's the back air. We've got essentially an even last stock situation. Yeah, I do like that composure from Mr. E. I think that's the only thing, one thing I've always enjoyed watching him play is his ability to just try to stay composed at all times. And knows, like, I don't want to take unnecessary damage with my opponent. I want to be able to space all times. So keeping that in mind is a, requires a lot of discipline. 
Oh, definitely. A lot of uh, mid to lower level players can, can always get a bit antsy when it comes to trying to respond uh, after losing a stock. And, and um, Mr. E showing that the veteran that he is will, you know, uh, exude patience to slowly bring things back no matter how long it takes. Ooh, he's trying to end just like the way, end game two, just like game one with a shield breaker, but he's not going to find it. Oh, that nice was good too. Berry, but he accidentally got a counter. I do like the counter coming out either way, because sometimes your opponent will try to read your mash out, and especially Wadi is so good at that. So for him to just counter right okay. away, it's not, not the worst thing, but still, right. you know. If anything to prefer out of it, that was probably the best option for him. <laughs> yeah, I agree, I agree. Uh, sliding F here coming up from Mystery, that's one thing I always enjoy watching from, like, Lucina, our record, just the sliding tilts here. Down air gets the nice reason. Down air after that, shield pressure to stuff out Wadi's potential out of shield option. Nice. Bit far off stage here. What Roll, a read. Captions it with the up tilt. And he's got a 2-0 lead for Mr. E. Excellent stuff right there. He was missing those punishes on the roll cross up, but finally capitalizes in the end. Yeah, and I really did like that up tilt. That would have covered Wadi had he tried to go for an aerial. Because one, one thing you can do is go for header and then go for an aerial afterwards. Right. And that includes him jumping. But up tilt has such a good anti-air as well. So he's able to cover roll and an anti at the same time. That's two for one. And this guy looking for the best deal in the trade for sure. And he gets, that's why he's up 2-0 against Wadi. Right, so Wadi got to be thinking here. He's got his back to the wall. Might pull out um a different character this time which looks like he may be considering that game was a little bit more convincingly in e's favor this time but yeah um Ready? he's sticking it out maybe different stage here might pick a stage with more space for him to run away and to charge uh sun salutation or deep breathing we might see town or kalos for example Three, and he picked town yeah, good Go! guess, good guess here. And of course, uh, like you said, having more space to definitely move around. Basically, Mr. E as a whole, but giving time to just charge your moves or just having more space away from the scene is really good. But I think that's the one thing I like about Mr. E too. He's always got neutral in mind, but also spacing in mind. I think that's why he's always been so strong with characters like Lucina. Double forward here to get Wadi off the stage. And the deep Ooh, and back here. Okay. Uh, he might maybe a little bit of mind games going on there P possibly uh, he was playing a bit conservatively when it came to edge guarding but this time he gets a lot of damage for for just going deep out there yeah good three swipes here starts off with um side b1 into nair into forward air just trying to get any amount of pressure on that shield especially with one at the ledge forward to swipe him right he doesn't like that he's on that ledge get him off another right swipe here coming out from mystery and he's earned himself pretty much the, the stage guard here look, looking just way for wadi Interesting pacing on the side B, but Wadi sees past it, but E gets the jump off ledge back air, and he's got a very healthy stock uh, to start off this game three. Yeah, don't let that yellow on the stock uh, fool you, man. It's very, very healthy still, so a little bit of a lead here. 13% on Wadi. Wadi just goes for the header mystery. He's still keeping up that pressure at the stage because he knows that stage present he's had last game is pretty much the remedy against this character. And that's why I'm saying, like, you may you may criticize him for not being that strong off stage, but he knows sometimes holding the stage is the best way to do it. I mean, yeah, as long as, long as you have that advantage state in the corner, there's not too much Wadi's going to be able to do besides stall out the clock and heal himself. But healing can only do so much when you're down a stock. Yeah, exactly. At that point, it's almost negligible. Right. Um, Mr. E on the back here once again. Wadi on the low recovery. Mr. E setting up for that forward air. He's calling up for the headers. Yeah, he is. He is. He knows. Stuff. It's very reminiscent of, of, of Belmont. When, when when somebody throws a projectile to cover their, their recovery like that, um, if you call it out, you can go under it and uh, get a double jump aerial off stage, ah, and it's getting him know. a lot of percent. But Wadi yeah. not panicking too much out of the corner, but whiffs the grab. This, I mean, I'm I'm such a mystery fanboy at this point. That's the one thing I like about it. He waits for that last possible second Excellent. to go for that down air. Because at that point, Wadi thought it might have been back air. And like, that's one thing. He knows how to stall that aerial for just a good amount of pressure. Uh, Mr. Here once again here at the ledge. Pretty much looking for Wadi's landing. This time, going to let him slip through the cracks here. But he knows he's still got him at 133 here. Any swipe whatsoever at the right side or the left will be it for Wadi's stock. Wadi had him in a bit of a juggle situation here. Not to forget the explosiveness of, of Wii Fit. Once he does get his opportunity, he can still cash in. So... This isn't quite in the books for Mr. E. Yeah. 
Over there once again. Mr. E looking to see that as an opportunity to go across stage. Pretty much, I wouldn't say a corner carry, but near one, not a full Ooh, connect. He almost got the tech chase. That would have been very clean. All right. Wadi slowly pacing back on his recovery. Barely slips back to center stage just to lose it again. Do the sliding F tilt, and now E's one stock away from punching his ticket into loser semis. Yeah, and he actually gets to go over to the opponent he originally lost to in winners, which is PK Chris. Win the fight on Ven. Both of these players looking to play against one of the best of the best, too. Uh, Mr. E, really strong Lucina. Ven, really, on, arguably the best Zelda left all, all around, so. Two strong character specialists here, but Wadi is the one thing in the way here. Back here for Wadi, gets the header, looking to force him to actually pick a different recovery option here, but Mr. E knows that platform is here for me. We're seeing the patience from Wadi in disadvantage on the platform, on the ledge, but E's aggression has been panning out, forcing the situation here all set. And uh, both players are in a last stock, though E's got a pretty sizable lead still. If Wadi's going to manage a way to bring this back, he's going to need some kind of deep breathing combo or juggle situation. He almost had it with the Nair 1, but wasn't quite able to get a follow-up. Yeah. Nice, Mr. E on the spacing. Gets back to the stage as soon as possible. He knows. I got to hold center here. 108 on Wadi. Go off the deep end. Come back to the stage. No opportunities for any other type of play. That's a forward throw for Mr. E. Yeah. He knows he wants the stage positioning, but he wants to get him off the stage as well. Hey, Wadi's been perfectly content with jumping back onto the Smashville platforms, but it won't stay there forever as when, you know, it transitions back to FD or some other layout, just like right now. Mm -hmm. He's got very few ways to stall out his disadvantage now. Yeah, two minutes on the timer. Timer is not going to play a factor, but Mr. E knows. I Slow and steady wins the race here. I have no oh, reason to be over aggressive. There's the Nair. Oh, but that whiff grab is going to cost him dearly as he's at 146. Any stray hit could end it. Yeah. If Mr. Iso choose to, he can go for a grab to an up throw, but you know Town and Susan has that big blast on, so it's going to take a little while longer for that one here. Mr. E able to jump over all the projectiles. Landing there will do the call as he's able to jump over the get up attack hitbox. And Mr. E, man, earns himself a 3 0. The patience pays off. Definitely. He was, he was showing that the entire set. Um, 